Afternoon again, everybody. Uh, Silver Vault here, back for the second review for today. Um, seeing as you've had to, as soon as you've been played around so much, I thought I'd do a second one. Going to be doing Guyver Three because this has been quite requested um, of me from by several people after seeing my Guyver One video. Um, again, going to have to be going to have to keep it under uh, ten minutes long. But we shall see where we go from there and how it shapes up. However, I shouldn't think it's going to take me that long at all, actually, because it's it's Guyver Three. Um, won't be going into too much about it. Now, Guyver Three is Agito Makashima, who is in the Guyver manga and anime. He's very much the anti-hero um, in that he doesn't have really heroic. He's not the typical hero, is what you'd expect. He. Um, Guyver 3, um, because Agito, he's, well, he's quite rude, and he's very arrogant, and so not in a nice way arrogant, he's very nastily arrogant, and in some regards, he's actually brutally cruel. Now, so he's very much the anti-hero, unlike Sho Fukamachi, who is, of course, very much um, the unwilling hero, who's just thrust into the role of being a hero, and doesn't have much say in the matter. Um, Agito relishes his role as a Giver. Um, he he likes the power it gives him. And at first it appears that Agito is actually working for Kronos Institution, um, who function who who create the Zoonoids. Or who turn people into Zoonoids. And his father, uh, Gonzo Makashima, or Gonzi, something like that, uh, Makashima, would be the head of the Japan branch. Um, and Agito is classed as Guyver 3. Now, it's not quite clear why he is Guyver 3. Um, or if he, sorry, if he is actually Guyver 3. Because Guyver 3, um, he's classed as Guyver 3 because Show is the first guy that, Guyver that you see. However, Liska, who is classed as Guyver 2, who's the yellow Guyver, who looks like an upright bucket of piss. Um, you see him next and it's only after that that you see um, Agito as Guyver 3 however early on you do realise in like the second episode third episode you do realise that Agito is a Guyver because you see him doing um, exercise in the gym and he's on the rings and he flips himself upside down and you see the Guyver the circular Guyver imprint patterns on his back so you know he's a Guyver and he doesn't show up until the th and, and he does, but he doesn't show up until after you see Liska as Guyver too. Now Agito uh, is m has much greater control of his Guyver units and knows a scary amount about it, which would indicate that he's actually had a Guyver unit for quite some time. Um, but I don't believe that actually pans out in the comic continuity and in the in the anime continuity, in that. Um, they surely would have no Kronos surely would have noticed that of the three Guyver units that it has, one of them suddenly gone missing. So how Agito has um, such control and such knowledge of his Guyver unit that Sho because Sho fumbles his way through on luck uh, and by asking the Guyver unit to do something, Agito seems to know how to do it. Needless to say, Agito does eventually join up with Sho and Murakami and Mizugi, and he's just as annoying in the new Guyver series as she was in the old one. And he fights beside Sho's side. Um, but it always does seem that he's doing it because it suits him. That at the time of him joining with the Guyver 1, it suits his purposes to do so. He never really takes on the role of hero with any great relish. Um, it's like he's driven into it and forced to do it. Needless to say, throughout the whole of the, of the Guyver series, which I've instantly got the new DVD set off which is the, the 2005 edition of it um, which is the full 26 episodes which I'm currently getting around to watching um, he does stay with show towards the end now there is a website that I've read I can't remember quite remember the name of it um, which has got a lot of fan fiction on there and it's got an awful lot of fan fiction on there of Guyver stuff um, it's not very well written fan fiction um, in fact, at times, it's bloody terrible. But, you know, fair play to them to actually writing that much information. But uh, on the site, there's an awful lot of awesome artwork of various different guy units that they've brought into, this, into the storyline. But anyway, that's not about that website. I can't remember what it's called, though. 
Um, this is on Guyver 3. Now, onto the toy itself. Uh, again, produced by Max Factor. Ba Max Factor? Max Factory by to Bioshock. Or something to that effect. And it has much of the same elements that the other Guyver has. Um, obviously, it's, it's a different colour because it's Guyver 3. Um, most distinctive about it, of course, is it's got four blades instead of two Vibro blades. Not Vibro blades, they're, they're Star Wars. Um, two Vibro swords. Or vibration blades, that's technically called. Um, its capabilities are the same as the, as Guyver as Guyver One. So it's got the eye laser, the green nipple mega smasher, and the stomach pressure cannon. But of course, Agito has a lot more cape strength with it. I mean, it's him, for instance, that teaches show that he can use the pressure cannon in his stomach to fly. So there we go, or to achieve greater heights. Toy wise. Um, very very nice comes on oh there it is I was going to say where's it gone comes on its on its display stand because it really doesn't like to stand up on its own so you can again you can put it into an extreme variety of poses I now have all three guys I've got guy one guy two and guy three and I'm running out of time um, all three Guyvers, and they all very much the same along the same lines. They come with various hands. How if I can actually show you? They come with various hands, like clenched fists, open hands, things like that. And there's the four blades. Now, the only complaint I have with this toy, and I got this out of the box because the guy who sent me Guyver One, Aiden, he sent me Guyver Two and Guyver Three as well. Though I paid for these ones. Uh, and when I cook out the box, this arm vibration blade is loose. Um, I think it's actually the socket that it's in, but it's very loose and it doesn't like staying in one place, and this one's even worse. So I've got to be very careful with that, but as soon as I keep them on display at the back of my monitor, um, where they can't get hurt, though they do get a bit dusty. Um, very, very nice. Very expensive toys, even on eBay. I mean, I, I, I want a Murakami to finish off the set. Now, probably either Murakami in his Zoalord form, Murakami in his... Um, Human form, not too fast, but I do want, I do want this toy with a Murakami in it, and they're about 70, 80 quid a piece. So you're talking 140, 160 dollars. So they are very expensive. They are very, very expensive. But yes, I just thought I'd throw this review in for you guys because I know so many people wanted a guy for three review. Um, but that's it for now. So I'm going to sign off, upload this video and my Skylinks video. And for now, I should say, for this is Silver Bolt with Go with 3, au revoir, adios, au revoir.